Yo, what is going on guys? D21 Dele here, back again with another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. And today guys, I will be talking about the beta once again. If you guys, for some reason, did not see my previous video, go check that video out guys. I basically give you guys my thoughts on the betas thus far. In this video though guys, I wanted to basically talk about the, um, some of the things that I've noticed in Cold War, um, in Black Ops Cold War beta that has not been really that good and that Treyarch should actually fix and uh, it will make the beta at least, at least more playable, more fun um, I have been playing it for since, the, since it came out and we do get to play I believe till Tuesday so we get the long weekend for it but um, there's a lot of things that, that, they, that they need to fix um, in order for it to be a little bit more fun and stuff like that but I give them quite a bit credit here because they did fix up the, uh, the attachments Basically, when you earn when you earn a gun or whatever, and you unlock it, you get to max out the attachments. They didn't have that before, which kind of makes sense. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping that they did that because, bro, this none of this transfers over uh, when you actually do get the game when the game comes out. So why grind? Like, why do we have to grind to get attachments and to unlock um, attachments and stuff like that? Like, it makes no sense, bro. Honestly. So I'm kind of glad that they fixed it. So that way, all you gotta do is just unlock the gun, and once you unlock the gun, it immediately levels up to the max, and you get to basically put any attachment you want. So I actually like that. Uh, it makes sense, bro. Like I said, it was a smart move from their end to get more people to play the beta, bro. Because at this point, the beta sometimes can get unplayable and get can, and can get quite annoying, honestly. But anyway, guys. If you guys do end up enjoying this video guys, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified on my upcoming videos. But anyways guys, let's get this video started as number one. Number one, I want to talk about Cartel. One of my favorite maps in the beta, uh, it's probably going to be the best map that we're going to get, honestly. And um, it's actually a pretty good map. I, I, I enjoy it. The only problem though with Cartel is the fact that the grass is just too damn high when when you're in the middle around the beef um around the B flag I believe it is and it's just way too high and sometimes you lose your you lose your opponent there and there's a lot of times where I'm in a gunfight I'm shooting pa 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 and then I don't know where I just lose them because everybody just drop shots or everybody just jumps like a bunny it's just ridiculous bro like like the amount of bunny hopping and drop shots that, that there is in this game honestly so when you got high grass that is about like chest high it's pretty hard to dictate where the where the opponent is and stuff like that so they need to at least just cut the grass that's all i need them to do just cut the grass other than that the map itself is very good again this is a small little point that i'm just trying to make um just to make the map better more playable because there's a lot of times where it can get a little toxic there in the middle the second thing i want to talk about guys is the player visibility uh i think that's what it's called but it's very hard to see the opponent, bro. There's a lot of times, like I said in my previous video, there's a lot of times where I see myself shooting my own teammates because, like, everybody everybody just looks the same, bro. It's honestly ridiculous. Like, they need to fix that because the time that you look and see whether the, the nameplate is red or blue or whatever, you're already dead. And at that point, like, there's nothing you can do, especially in this beta. Um, it's pretty easy to, to, to get third party and stuff like that. So it's... It's hard though, like especially in satellite. I've, I notice it a lot in satellite. In satellite, there's a lot of times where you just can't recognize people. There's a lot of times where I'm like, bro, where was he? And you see the kill cans, like, what? I didn't even see him because people blend in. I don't know if it's a, it's a, if it's a color thing. I don't know if it's just like they need to uh, umped up the saturation. I don't know what it is, bro. I'm not a game developer or anything like that. So I don't know what they need to do to fix it, but they should fix it. Um, I think they should actually make um the users just look a little bit more brighter. I feel like everybody looks the exact same, bro. Like I don't know. The third thing that they need to fix, guys, is the snipers, bro. The snipers are absolutely OP, bro. It's ridiculous how OP they are. At least give them a flinch. Give them something, dude. Like, minimize their chances of, of sniping you from, like, six feet or from four feet. Because, bro, it gets to the point where I literally, like, I'm shooting somebody four times and they we're close ranged. And they just, boom, like, out of panic, I guess. They just quick scope you. And it's, it's just ridiculous. It's not, it's not real like that, bro. Like... I understand if people quick scope like people are actually good at sniping bro like i'm not taking away any credit from that but there are people out there that just absolutely go insane and it's like you look at the kill cam and it's like they're drop shot they're drop shotting you or they're jumping like a bunny they're sniping you quick scope from three feet like it's ridiculous bro like how op these snipers are i i just feel like they should nerf them a little bit um because it's it is too op bro at the end of the day it is too op and i don't know bro like Snipers is always going to be an issue in every Call of Duty game, I feel like. But um, the Tundra, I, I love the sniper gun itself. I just don't like the fact that it's too OP, bro. 
Guys, another thing they go they also gotta fix is the maps, bro. These maps are so bad. The ones they gave us are so bad. Like I said, Cartel is actually pretty good. Miami is too damn long for 6v6, bro. Like I played so many games of Miami. I actually get a lot of games of Miami, especially in Kill Confirmed and stuff like that. It's just oh I don't know man. It's just it's so damn big, like there's a lot of times I'm just running around that I can't find anybody and then when you die you spawn like a hundred feet from the action you spawn so damn far and it's, it's just so damn annoying like for 12v12 Miami is the perfect map I feel like um satellite it's it's an okay map it's short it's small but it's like eh. like I, I'm still I'm not a big fan of satellite bro actually I'm starting to like Moscow a lot more but Moscow can get a little bit chaotic I don't know these map designs just aren't haven't been it for me bro like I actually like I actually like cartel it's actually a pretty decent map it is what it is bro um I'm hoping that they can give a smaller match when the game actually comes out. That'll be re very dope. But if they don't, bro, that's something they really need to improve. Just bring in smaller maps, bring in better maps. Um, the match we got right now, it's not, it's not working, bro. The last and final thing, guys, that, that they, they really need to improve in this, bro, because I die so many times like this. It's basically the drop shotting and the bunny hopping, bro, and the hit markers, bro. I'd be shooting people eight times and they don't die. If you guys did end up enjoying this video, like I said, guys. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't done so already, go subscribe. I'm trying to hit 300 subs by the end of the year, guys. Let's make that thing happen. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.